Let me tell you something right now. I can assure you, you're going to feel fear when God calls you to do something bigger than you are. That's why he called you to it, by the way, because he knows on your own you can't do it. But he knows with him you can do it. Listen, ladies, why do we want to do something we can do on our own anyway? Let's step out in faith and let's let God do what God does and let him show us how big he really is. You believe him for something big in your life today? Are you wanting him to do something bigger and you say, unless God does this, there is no way this can happen? It can happen. That's what God does. God does things bigger. That's the exciting part. Let him. Some of you are facing real life fears today. Some of you are facing health situations, marriage situations, financial situations, loneliness, abandonment, depression. Some of you are facing those things today, but let me tell you this. God is able. God is able. He wants to do it for you. He's bigger than those things. I'm going to tell you something. They may be real fears, but you serve a real God. Amen? You serve a real God who can beat any of the real fears that you have. And sometimes when we feel fear, the only thing we can do is one thing. Stand. Stand. When my mom was going through cancer and I stood by her bedside and she said, just hold my hand. I will never be able to explain what happened when I stepped up next to her bed. But when she took my hand, it was like all the peace that I had been praying for her just went right into her. And she said, just sing to me. She didn't say cook for me, by the way. She said, just sing to me. And I started singing to my mom. And it was like the peace that passes all understanding because I sang about Jesus. And I stood by her bedside until she fell asleep. And I thought about this. And I thought about even though I've been so afraid, I felt afraid. And somebody comes to you and says, cancer, fear comes. <laughs> it comes. But I stood by her bed and I held her hand. And I thought about that. I thought, Shannon, fear's here. You stand for your mom. You stand in all that you preach and all that you teach. Now's the time to live what you believe. What you say you believe, just stand.